top 10 best cold tolerant animals in the world. There are many species in the world, and each with its own characteristics survive in the nature, even in regions where the weather is extremely cold, such as the Arctic. Today, the Toki Book Top 10 Amazing will go with you to learn about these animals with special abilities. 1. Musk Ox Musk Ox have lived in the Arctic for a very long time, from the Ice Age about 200,000 years ago. With a double layer of thick coat, the first layer is a thick dark gray outer coat, almost touching the ground. The inside coat helps them resist the cold as well as withstand the harsh weather of the Arctic, even when the temperatures are down to minus 40 degrees. Musk ox live in herds between 12 to 24 in winter and 8 to 20 in summer. During the summer, the musk ox lives in moist areas such as deep valleys and moves up into the higher mountains in winter. Their diet includes arctic willow grass, lichens, and moss under the snow. Musk cows are raised for meat, milk, and fur. Currently, the species is being protected so the number is kept stable. 2. Polar Bear Polar bears are large mammals of the order carnivores. They mainly live in the cold areas around the Arctic Ocean. This animal weighs 400 to 600 kilograms when mature, with some weighing over 800 kilograms. The adult males from 2.4 to 2.6 meters long. Their fur is white, waterproof, in addition to adapting to the cold thanks to a layer of fat up to 10 centimeters thick, which helps keep the body warm even when the temperature drops to minus 40 degrees. Polar bears' habitats are patches of ice. They often occur at the edge of the ice and places with many seals are their main food source. Polar bears spend a great deal of time walking on ice and avoids violent snowstorms by digging temporary shelters. Usually only pregnant female bears hibernate, but in places where winters are colder and food is harder to find, all polar bears hibernate. 3. Snowy Owl The snowy owl, also known as a white owl, is a large species of owl with a recognizable feature with a black beak, black claws, and yellow eyes. The head and eyes are small, they are about 52 to 71 centimeters in length and weigh from 1.6 to 3 kilograms. This is one of the largest species of owls, the female is larger than the male. The adult males have almost all white plumage, while the plumage of the females and chicks has many black spots. The thick white coat makes the snow owl well adapted to life at north of the Arctic Circle. In addition, their fur can also turn brown to adapt to the melting weather. Snow owls often nest on high mounds or rock barrows and the food is lamote and other small rodents. Snow owls are strong birds, ready to attack any enemy if they feel threatened with their nest, including large animals like bears or foxes. They attack in the direction of dying from the air down to the enemy and distract them to run away. 4. Snow Leopard Snow Leopard is a species of cat family, living in Central Asia, with a weight of about 75 kilograms. They have a long helping to have a good balance and is also used to cover the mouth and nose during cold weather. The large, fur-covered legs are considered snow boots. Snow leopards have white-gray fur with numerous spots on the sides, head, and neck. Snow leopards eat all the food they can find. Usually they can have the power to kill three times heavier prey such as camas or cattle. Snow leopards have flexible bodies that help them adapt well to the harsh, snowy mountain environment. They can walk more than 40 kilometers a day in search of food, and with their hind legs they can jump up to six times more than their body length. Snow leopards are also considered symbols of some Central Asian countries. 5. Penguin Penguins are mainly aquatic in the southern hemisphere, concentrated in coastal flat areas or cliffs because it is ideal conditions for them to hide from human hunting as well as for reproduction. They have thick fur to withstand the cold here. The weight depends on the species and can be up to several, several tens of kilograms. They often live in groups of up to thousands of animals. Penguins have very good hearing. Their eyes are adapted to observing underwater helping them locate prey and avoid predators. In contrast, on land they are nearsighted. Their sense of smell has not yet been fully studied. Most penguins feed on krill, fish, squid, and others they catch while swimming in the water. They spend about half their time on land and the other half in the oceans. 6. Siberian Tigers Siberian tigers are known as the lords of the tiger region. They have such good cold tolerance and it's thanks to their thicker and denser fur than other tigers, so they can adapt to harsh weather. The Siberian tiger is considered the largest tiger subspecies. The typical weight of the wild Siberian tiger is indicated at was 180 to 306 kilograms for males and 100 to 167 kilograms for females. The Siberian tiger's prey includes Manchurian deer, Siberian musk deer, long-tailed cow mouse, elk, Siberian roe deer, Manchurian star deer, and smaller animals such as hares, rabbits, and salmon. With the increasing risk of being hunted, this tiger species is in danger of extinction. The number is now only about 400 living mainly in the taiga forest in Russia. 7. Reindeer Reindeer are distributed mainly in the Arctic and subarctic regions. Their bodies are covered with hair capable of holding air. The layer of air in the feathers will help isolate their body from the surrounding environment. In addition, reindeer's circulatory system also has the ability to help cold blood in the limbs absorb heat from the warm blood source in their body. Both males and females develop antlers, although in males the antlers are usually larger. 
there are few females who lack antlers completely. In particular, male reindeer often lose their horns in the winter. Every year, the reindeer herd travels hundreds of kilometers to the north in search of food. They were domesticated 2,000 years ago. 8. North American Otter The otter is endemic to the North American continent and is commonly found along its rivers and coastlines. They are protected and insulated by a fairly thick waterproof coat, so they are very resistant to cold temperatures. The main food of the otters is fish and some other aquatic species such as shrimps, crabs, frogs. They also have a very high metabolic rate. They have to eat 50% of their body weight each day. In 10 Celsius water, an otter needs to catch at least 100 grams of fish per hour, less than what it will not survive. Most of them hunt for 3 to 5 hours per day. Otters have the habit of living in groups. Today they're extremely rare because of hunting, changing habitats, and the legal use of mercury for gold mining in rivers. 9. Eurasian Lynx The Eurasian Lynx is a type of lynx in the feline family. They are distributed mainly in Asia and Northern Europe. This animal usually has a short tail with bands below the neck and black stripes. They have large feet, thick skin for walking in the snow, along with long hairs on the face. The color of the coat covering the body ranges from light brown to gray and sometimes with dark brown spots, especially on the legs. The lynx weighs from about 15 kilograms to about 30 kilograms. The lynx inhabits high altitude forests with dense shrubs and grasses. Although they hunt only on the ground, they climb and swim quite well. The lynx is a skilled hunter. It can take down even a deer many times larger than its own body, but usually their food is birds, small animals, fish, sheep, or goats. 10. Black Capped Chickadee The black capped chickadee is a species of birds in the Paraday family, which is an emblem for several states in the United States. This bird has the ability to lower its body temperature in cold winter nights. It can withstand the cold quite well. The black capped chickadee is a small, is small that lives in the woods with a short fat bill. They are adaptable birds with a mixed diet, including nuts and insects. This is a human-friendly bird. They can reach and eat food on human hands. Tokibook Top 10 Amazing has just introduced to you some animals with special abilities to adapt to the cold weather of nature. We hope that you get useful information about those animals above.